Here I'm going to show you how to completely hide the entire Excel interface, just like this. No ribbon, no quick access toolbar, no scroll bars, no status bar, no worksheet tabs, almost nothing. Now let's say you want to remove the grid lines and then have a nice Excel interface here. You could have a nice little form or a data set, even some rounded corners on there, and you're going to have something that looks amazing. And I'll put a link in the description of this video to some other tutorials to help you make a very nice interface. And to bring it back, all you do, click the Show button. So download this file and hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. And let me show you how this works, because it will require a bit of code. Not that much, though, and it's very easy to understand. So download it, Alt F11 to go to the VBA window and open up Module 1. And you only have two macros, one that hides everything and one that shows everything. And this is basically just the reverse of this one. So each setting here controls a different aspect of the interface, and we simply set it to false. Except for the last option that I'll cover at the end. And down here, to turn them back on, you reference the same setting, but set it to true. And I have comments in here as well that explain what we're dealing with. So horizontal scroll bar, vertical, row and column headings. So these guys here and here. Then the workbook tabs to get those off. The status bar, which is the line underneath the workbook tabs where you get information about what's going on. The formula bar that's just under the ribbon menu. And a very interesting one to remove the ribbon menu and the quick access tool bar. And I've been using this one since I think Excel 2007, that version. And it still seems to work, at least in Excel 365. So download the file, copy paste whichever settings you want into your workbook, and you are good to go. Now I do want to talk about the display full screen. I can't show you this because I'm not recording my full screen, so it won't really work very well. But if you uncomment this, it's going to make the workbook full screen and have most of the options turned off for it. But the thing to note is that the settings for all of these are separate for the full screen and the normal non-full screen mode. All that really means, though, is you may have to turn off some additional settings after you make it full screen. And if you want to bring it back to normal mode from full screen and then show all of the other things, you should bring it back to normal mode first. So take it out of full screen first and then turn those settings back to true. But that's really the only thing to pay attention to here. Everything else is just very easy to follow. So get the code. And once you use it, you will have a nice, easy-to-control interface like this.